the show is so fantastic. Thank and you. Um, season one was fantastic. I was a little concerned how it was going to carry over into season two, and it was, to me, it was twice as good. Um, can you talk about what we're going to, how you keep that going, and what we're going to see in season three? Look, that's the, that's the big challenge. I think when when even when I finished the pilot and people loved it, I would still get people asking, "How does this maintain? You know, like right. once you, yeah, how do you keep going?" But there's always we we have a plan and. Uh, we've always known big picture wise what the plan is going to be but then as you evolve things start to change and you shake some things out I think the big thing for season three is uh, as we reboot we have an eye on potential season four we're reinventing the show in a way where at the end of it you can go oh wow <laughs> I can see that there's a lot more than I thought there was right. and Joe Carroll was, was a chapter in that and it's not to say that Joe isn't going to play uh, an integral part, because he does, but it's not in the way you think he's going to play a part. Will we see um, as much of Sam's characters as we did last season? Because i got to tell you, that uh, he scares me. <laughs> yeah, he scared me too. Uh, yeah, look, he's, um, we, we've, left, we've left some unresolved issues, which I think is what we do best, you know, the, the sort of twists and turns. and. Um, Mark killed Weston's dad. We saw it happen, he cried, and he's still out there. So Weston has that bloodlust. Weston really wants, he still wants revenge. Right. And, um, and Mark lost his brother, lost his mother, so where is he? And uh, I think we found a really interesting way to bring him back into the world. Um, we're, we're showing up a year later and what he's been doing and what he's been planning. This show, it's very dark. And, um, you know, I didn't initially start covering because I have a young adult site. So, you know, it's typically, it's ideally, like teenagers, young, you know, 20-year-olds. It's so popular. With, it's one of the most popular TV series that we cover. Oh, I had, I had no idea. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So um, what, do you, what do you attribute to that? Because it is pretty dark. I think it's a Max and Weston kiss. That's it. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That that sort of surprises me that that we have that audience. I never really imagined that. You know, I, I did Vampire Diaries, so right. That made sense. That makes sense. This always felt like uh, a completely separate set of people watching. Well, a 90210 alum helped tremendously, also. With That's that, good. You so. think that? So it started season two. Um, no, it was always a big. Yeah, a big, Kevin Bacon. It was always. That's the great not, equalizer. That's what I attribute it to. Yeah, Kevin Bacon. Cool, never loses the cool. Never. It's popular forever. So yeah. thank you so much. I'm, I need to wrap thank up. You. Thank you.